So if it's not vapor, then what would you say majority of the issues are that are plaguing the industry? Well, it isn't water vapor that causes the problem. And actually, most of the time, it's not even moisture. Moisture creates a vehicle for the damage. Now, a lot of times when we brought in the hygrometer that's part of the um, moisture encounter and a moisture meter along with infrared thermometer, we've been able to catch issues that are being introduced at time of installation. I'm gonna give a, an example. I remember a few years back, there was a project in San Diego, it was a high tech building and very, very critical installation. I was brought in because they had an elevated moisture issue and I was representing the moisture control company at the time. So when I looked at it and I saw that what the moisture levels were versus what the quality of the concrete was, and it was water cured, there were no curing compounds. So I know it was done correctly as far as the calcium chloride method was used. I said, well, that can't be the issue because concrete of that quality can't have that high of a moisture vapor emission level. So it just can't. So I think it's coming from the air, the ambient conditions. And so we were debating that and there was eight of us in the room. Well, thankfully I had the hygrometer on with the, uh, with the Tremex meter and I left it on while we were talking. When we started the meeting and walked into the room, the relative humidity was only 52%. When we finished talking, it climbed all the way to 78%. I said, now I'm absolutely convinced that's what it was. This is created by the ambient conditions. So let's recreate the installation, see what happened. So they decided to do that. So they brought in the installer, same exact flooring materials, and they started and the relative humidity was a little higher, it was about 55% when they started. Well, when they finished spreading the adhesive, the relative humidity in the room climbed all the way up to 90%. Wow. It was a water-based adhesive. So they put the floor down and predictably it failed. Because what happens is the concrete was cooler than the room. Water moves to the cool side. So what happened, it created its own dew point. So even though uh -huh. it's skinned and it's set up the way it was supposed to, according to all the instructions that were given the installer, so it wasn't the installer's fault, they did everything correct, it still failed, and failed in exactly the same manner. They said, well, how do we fix this? I said, we use fans. But unfortunately, because these rooms are so small, we're going to have to bring in a dehumidifier. So we were testing the floor, and the Tremex meter was uh, pegging a little bit over five, it's about five and a half percent. So we put the fans on the floor. After about two hours, it brought it down to under four and a half. I said, now we're ready to go. But we have to keep the fans on and uh, blow the, because we tested around all around the floor and the floor was dry. It was all under four and a half percent. I said, now what we have to do is keep the air moving, but we need the, to put on the uh, dehumidifier and keep the humidity in the room at less than 60%, keep it between 55 and 60%. So they did that. And as they spread the adhesive, let it tack up, they put the floor back down. It was so well adhered that they were destroying the floor trying to do the pull test. They couldn't get the floor. Yeah. So exactly the same conditions, just by controlling the relative humidity in the room, completely cured the problem. Now to show you how important that was for this project, a shutdown for this project, there were 12 rooms was a million dollars per day per room if they shut it down. Goodness. That's how high tech this thing was. So it was, so this is big stakes. So they went ahead and duplicated that effort in all 12 rooms. It went perfect. So, so this, even though I was selling a moisture control at the time, said this is not a moisture control issue. We could have slapped our magic juice down here and would have, would have seemed to have corrected the problem, but we would have fixed nothing. 